brass to brash. Should mm. we try to catch every menacing dispatch? Okay. On Tuesday night after Scott Walker won Wisconsin's recall election, a number of people tweeted violent threats at the governor. Like a guy named Supa McNasty who wrote, quote, kill Scott Walker, 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 kill Scott Walker. I wonder what he meant by that. <laughs> <laughs> so, did cops contact him? As Gawker reports, no one knows. And Mr. McNasty has since deleted his account. But somebody by the handle sex symbol says he did get attention from the police after tweeting, quote, somebody need to Abe Lincoln Scott Walker cave frog, look, cave frog looking ass. So Gawker asks, what does it take to be counted as a legit threat on Twitter? And what about threats of the aquarium? That I would take seriously. <laughs> hey, Tom, back in the 80s, you lived in Ohio and you murdered people in saunas. I, I believe you were known as the Cleveland Steamer. Do you think any of these people threatening Walker on Twitter uh, really wanted to hurt him? Or is the issue that they probably weren't serious, but they could inspire some nutbag? They were not serious. Twitter, it, uh, threats on Twitter. Uh, never pan out. I have a list of uh, <laughs> the most... Is that what you tell the police? Well, no, I, I have a list of the most productive serial killers in history. None of them had Twitter accounts. Is that right? <laughs> wow. And by the way, you just gave away, you because you are, you are so under the radar with everything you do. Yeah. You find it disgusting <laughs> that people would go on Twitter and make a death threat. I think, <laughs> I, you're like, I, I think keep that stuff, keep that private. I, yeah. I honestly think they would, though. I mean, people who talk about using violence as a means to to to, to solve their ends. I mean, they abandon reason. They're done with it. So right. violence is always their next course. But, so, if, but I mean, if someone just Mr. Sexy McNasty wasn't so serious, but you never know because these are people who don't even think. They just use their fists and, and, and use force. Well, that and that's the question. I, someone who I think just tweets, "Kill Scott Walker, kill Scott Walker," over and over again is probably just angry and deranged in that moment but they, but they put, put probably it with my guess is they weigh about 350 and it's it's cheeto weight it's not good weight <laughs> and there's no way they could even uh, get near the governor you know w without having a, a, a major coronary but can you take that chance if you're the authorities um, the general rule is on on pub people who kill public figures is that if they call, they're not coming. Um, it's more the it's more the fans who <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> write a little right. too much. Yes, yeah. <laughs> those are the danger signals. But there is, I mean, there also is the danger w with a situation in Wisconsin. There had been violence in the past um, from the anti Walker forces, and there was a mob of them. And mob violence can be very dangerous. Um, so you, you, the incitement points, I think, may yeah, come up. You've been like right. attacked with power. I mean, people have come at you out of nowhere and attacked you. So you see this on the front lines. No, and 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 without giving, getting into details, no, I have actual dangerous stalkers. Um, but I'm more concerned. I mean, the problem with this sort of thing is even when the FBI absolutely knows this person is right. dangerous, they can't do anything unless they act. I mean, as we were saying before, like these swattings going on against conservative bloggers, which right. ABC has written about. I mean, the the, fa the the pattern there of the conservatives who are having having 911 calls saying I just shot my wife and then having the SWAT team show up right. guns drawn that is scary well, let me, let and me, those people would not okay, have tweeted first. let me get I want to get Victor into this because he, he all the way here from London uh, shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't the general rule be that because I feel like it is when someone tweets something like this about a conservative oh we shouldn't take it seriously but if it's about a liberal it's a grave threat to democracy and that's yes. the interesting thing you know as you know I'm just starring in the nude interpretation of the Canterbury Tales <laughs> yes. of Helen Mirren yes. and I want everybody to come and see it because it's gonna be fantastic except for the kids because we will be naked uh, here's the thing uh, Leftists kill more people than there are no conservatives on death row. That's right. This is a fact, and I and I and I, I want the halftime guy, whatever his name is, we to look know. that up. But there are no conservatives on death row. Only liberals. Yeah. No presidential assassinations. Yeah, only liberals. I don't know. I'm making That's this. My, I'm no, making, I'm not making it up. It's making my it up. last book. It's true. But here's the deal. Here's every the, congressman killed. I'm sorry, but I just want to make this point. Sure. Every congressman killed by um, assassinated was killed by a yeah. liberal. No. A congressman is like your House of Lords. Yes, yes exactly. Yes. Exactly. More, more like the House of 
the Commons. But, I think but, the senators but, but, would be more like but, the House. May I just bring up? There is a certain responsibility that has to be taken by the people who run Twitter. People don't even know the names of these guys that run Twitter because they're young and and nobody really cares. But on Fox News or any network, you don't have. We, if we had a guest on who said, "I'm going to kill this person," we wouldn't have the guest on anymore. You actually have a bit of self-policing. At some point, Twitter's got to get out of that excuse that this thing is so big we can't police people. Somebody well, makes I, a death threat, you, they go on a list, and you get rid of them. I was surprised I mean, because I have been following um, Sexy McNasty for a long time, <laughs> really enjoying most of it about sure. the theater, about sure. the opera, and then Absolutely. all of a sudden he's like Abe Lincoln, Scott Walker. Yeah. yeah. WTF. Yeah, maybe, I don't know maybe, if maybe that's maybe it was a possible, hack. though. I mean, I don't disagree with your it's point. So big. It's so In that's theory, a, I don't think it can be done. And a quick caveat: the presidential assassins, some of them were just crazy. Yeah. But if they were political, yes. and more than half were, if they were political, their politics was always liberal. But I don't think they can do that with Twitter. It's well, the, their excuse is it's so large, you can't possibly do it. But let's remember, but I, I don't even phone books are large. Remember phone books? Yeah, Those are large. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Go, Victor, Victor I just want to say, I don't, I don't think that that's necessarily true. I think if you bring it, if it's brought to Twitter's attention, I think they do something about it. Yeah. I think their point is they can't monitor every tweet that gets sent out. But I think they're generally pretty good about it if, if it's brought to their attention. Plus, after the third kill Scott Walker, I think he's kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you but would, you know what? Yeah, but that is something it, it, you would say. That your point, the point is, whoever gets you never tells you, and it is right. always, it's right. always right. a fan. Right. Yeah. It's always a fan. Right. Yeah. Right. And I'm apologize for <laughs> some of those. <laughs> well, all right, I'm gonna. I need to move on. For making threats to cigarettes, do more teens dig weed over cigs? Well, according to a new study by the Center for Disease Control, or CIDIC, high schoolers prefer to get high than touch tobacco. The 2001 Youth Risk Behavior Survey, or YERBS, mm. found that while 18% of adolescents say, said they recently smoked cigarettes, 23% admitted to marijuana use. Note to self, find out the cool term the kids are using these days and replace the word marijuana with <laughs> I guess I forgot to do that. Also, probably shouldn't have read that out loud. Anyway, the CDC started collecting this data in 1991, and this marks the first time pot use outstripped cigarette use. For more, let's go to our stoned kitties. right there that's what that is <laughs> and this clearly is the fault of the leader of the Chum gang himself Barack Hussein <laughs> Obama correct yeah I think we have a direct number now on how many high school kids have read dreams of yeah. my fathers all right mm. Tom teen cigarette smoking has stayed flat but pot smoking has risen please explain this makes sense have you seen the anti-smoking ads they are pretty They're nasty terrifying yeah. I did one yeah. And here's an interesting thing about when you do a commercial, you they have you did that in your basement. Well, no, I did a thing for the truth. You yeah, know, the okay. truth.com, and they have a, what's called a conflict. When you do an ad for one laundry detergent, you can't do a competitor. Right. You know what the conflict is for uh, the truth.com? It's not smoking. You can do a smoking ad while you're doing a truth one. Uh. You can't do other non-smoking ads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, that, that's, that's the conflict weird. I signed. You, you can't do other anti-smoking because uh, they're competing with each other bizarre it's a whole market the anti-smoking <laughs> i don't get it hey j-ho i'm guessing you think this is actually a good thing right pot for everyone you weirdo libertarian oh come on right? that is so right? you right <laughs> everyone's getting high okay the kids the adults the chum leader as you said himself the chum gang leader the world is getting high and uh -huh. I, I loved what penn Gillette was here a couple nights ago what he had to say and of course i mean people should make their own decisions and young people are experimenting uh, the truth is is that uh, marijuana is much less <laughs> uh, is it still experimenting <laughs> <laughs> everyone does it well, <laughs> do they have like a lab it's, coat it's much <laughs> it's much less know. addictive we know chemically addictive than cigarettes right. so I mean, and i think it's i think it's pretty normal and i think we waste a tremendous amount of police resources trying to pretend it's not all right victor last word to you do you notice that fewer younger british stage actors are smoking cigarettes and more are smoking pot these days it's an interesting uh, question i was discussing this with colin firth sure. on the <laughs> set of our screwball comedy <laughs> where's my teeth uh -huh. which will be out <laughs> Right around Christmas time, I urge everyone to say it. Here, here's the reason. Here's the reason why more kids are smoking pot than cigarettes. There's no ID required. A dealer can sell a kid pot and not lose his license. Smokers, it's harder to buy cigarettes because no one will sell them to you yeah. because you've got to produce an ID. Legalize the drug. 
put an age on it, you will see the pot drop down because the dealers want to hold on to their licenses. No, but it's That's more the than solution. that because we know from the story they think pot smoking a marijuana joint isn't as bad for them as smoking cigarettes. It's, it's not. It's healthy. Yeah, but it's not. But no, the, the, yes, no, the bigger thing is it's not. It's not. But, but, but it's not. Right. It's the access is there. That's not true. He's right. The access is there, too. public condemnation of marijuana. You would not have some freak boy libertarian sitting here <laughs> talking about how great Are smoking about cigarettes Andy? Right. is. Everybody, everybody says smoking bad, bad, bad. You have right. so, social pressure works is the point, yeah. and there's no social pressure against. Pop. I got to say this: right. the, 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 it's a fact. Pot is more accessible than cigarettes. Anything that's more accessible. But it doesn't it also about. give one a, a wonderful feeling, Pod? Isn't that well, we don't like to <laughs> talk about that. Anyway, coming up, what's the best way to ensure your wife doesn't discover your internet browser history? Jonathan Honing on his new book, Erase It, Wipe the Hard Drive, Then Burn the <laughs> Computer and Buy a New One. But first, what should TSA do to improve its poor image? And wearing a nice pair of cotton slacks never fails, I always say. You're watching Red Eye on FNC, so stick around.